Hey, welcome back, that's Andrea, and today with an experiment. Here I have some numbers, this one, that is generated using an algorithm that took this amount of time, around one second. And here I have the exact same number that get generated with uh, this exact same algorithm, uh, but took a bit more. But let's see why this difference. The algorithm that generates these numbers is this one. Let me, let me explain uh, really fast. Uh, here I have the two arrays and here I am initializing these arrays with random numbers. And here I have the algorithm that created this first number. It basically sum all the numbers inside the array. Instead, the other algorithm that generate the exact same number uh, does the, uh, the same thing uh, but in reverse. If the, if the algorithm is the same, why we have uh, this difference in execution? So to answer to this question, what I did is to check the assembly of the C++ generated by the compiler. Let's see it. Here we go. Here we have this compiler explorer tool that is really easy to use. So let's see uh, this part, what does in the assembly. So what happens here is that the compiler generates uh, this assembly code for this row of code. If we compare this code to the code generated for this line, we can see that it's, it is slightly different. In fact, uh, for this code is generated this assembly. It could be shorter than this and pro you could think that uh, it's more optimized, but it's not. So this could be part of the reason why uh, there is difference in summing the same, the exact same array in, uh, into different order. Uh, but what happens if we instead of optimize this code, we tell the compiler to not optimize this code? Let's do this, uh, this operation. Now, the compiler generated the non-optimized code. If I search for this, uh, for this line, and if I compare this one again with the same uh, the, the other array is this one. Okay, let's try, let's try to compare them. So as you can see here, we have the same commands uh, of, the, of the forward algorithm, even in the reverse algorithm. So without optimizing the code, the result should be the same. So let's see what happened by uh, executing the non-optimized code. I already did this, this test before, so well, what it does, generate again the same number and as expected, uh, because it's less optimized, it took way more time, but the difference still, there are 5 seconds of difference. And so the question again is, why if the, if the assembly generated is almost the same? why we have this difference. So to understand why we still have this problem, even if our uh, assembly code is exactly, exactly the same, we have to see how CPU is made. And we already know that it has some, um, some units like the, the control unit, the ALU, the registers and so on. The registers is a, a memory that is used by the CPU to copy the data from the RAM and perform operation on it. Another important unit that is the key factor of our problem is the MMU, Memory Management Unit. It's responsible not only for mapping the, our virtual memory of the program inside the physical RAM, but it's also responsible for manage the register's memory and the data to copy on it. 
When we write a code like this one in C++ array 0, what happens is that the data is inside our RAM and it is copied inside the registers, but the MMU is programmed to copy not only the data that you asked for, but also copy a portion of that array. For example, we can say that the code that is really executed um, will copy will copy this portion of the array. What this means is that during our for forward algorithm, when in the next execution we ask for the next value, this value is already inside the registers after the first call. And this behavior prevent the CPU to access again the RAM and ask for another variable that that of course require time. Instead, in the reverse sum, what happens is that the MMU is always programmed to, to take a portion of the array that is next to the index that you asked for. When you are iterating the array in reverse, the MMU will fill the registers with three, four and five elements, the next ones, and as you can see the registers doesn't have the data that you asked for and each iteration it needs to fill again the registers. And this is why we have this discrepancy even if we have the exact same assembly code. And that's it. I hope that you liked the, this experiment and uh, please put a comment below to let me know what you think about it and uh, if you have some information to add. But for now that's it, see you next time, bye bye!